Okay, Blankers, we're rolling on with uh, this part of the podcast, and it's time to strand special guest Richard Sandling on Desert Island Dicks. Uh, just for legal disclaimers, this is definitely not the same as Desert Island Dicks on Radio 4. Um, so, Richard, uh, we are going to strand you on a uh, made-up Desert Islands back in the nine or back in the noughties, excuse me, mm-hmm. um, and we're going to probe you a little bit. Are you ready? I'm ready to be probed. <laughs> 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 Everyone's always ready. Everyone's always ready. They always start probing. Yeah. And then as soon as I start probing, they don't like no, it, do they? No, no. it's because they haven't seen your, you haven't seen your sausage fingers, have <laughs> they? Very Prince Charlie. Yeah. 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 Hiding behind the laptop. We don't know what's gauss. coming, oh, Char- do we? <laughs> yeah, Charlie's fingers are getting a bit of a they roast, are. aren't they? Yeah. Well, you don't want to roast them up. They'll split like absolute bangers, <laughs> don't they? Like, yeah, he's got heart problems, hasn't he? Little Richmond sausages. but Really cool. The man is gout-ridden. Let's just assume we might be going to another bank holiday soon than yes. we but before we do that let's bring it back to uh to the desert island so uh you start off at 10 mr sandling yes what not is richard or dick would you like to be stranded on the island with uh can anyone remember what we've had before we've had richard Pryor. richard, I think. Pryor. richard ashcroft richard ashcroft richard. seems to be quite popular these days we haven't had many, have we, actually? So it might just be those two. Yeah. No, there was another one, wasn't there? Two or three, but... but don't know. So you, you've got a plethora of Well, I know, choice, but from, so. from the noughties. Uh, from the noughties. Predominantly a noughties, so, yeah. noughties Richard. Yeah. It could, it could be someone tough. from the 90s mm. that goes through yes, into yeah, the noughties. So, you know, it's... Uh, well, we're, it's we're quite loosey-goosey yeah, with yeah, the rules. Yeah. Or it could be yeah. a fucking Richard. We yeah, yeah, yeah. We're not going to argue. If you're really struck, it could be Richard Dello. Yeah. yeah, if you I've already picked that up. That's always no. So, yeah. There you go. So, I can't choose Dick Turpin, the highway man. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> From the 17th century. Played, played by Adam <laughs> Dick Turpin. <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to choose Dick Turpin. I'm just saying, oh, like. That'd be uh, great, oh. we, we could find a way to, to make it work with <laughs> the loose yeah. confines. Yeah, of it the appeared race. in a sketch of Hal and Pace or something. There you yeah. go. Yeah. We're in. Yeah. Absolutely. So, who do, who do you have for us? Well, it's because it's, it's, they're allowed to be fictitious, aren't they? Oh, yeah, yeah. So, just just because it's lit. Literally fulfills the brief of being a Richard from the noughties. Yeah. I've yes. chosen Richard Castle from the TV show Castle, played oh, by yeah. Nathan Fillion. Oh, cool. Oh, nice. Wow, because it's 2009 serious. and it just, it fits, just, does, just, fits in. just yeah. sneaks in. Boxes have been ticked. We so, are confident yes. that. So if you don't know, uh, he is a mystery writer mm-hmm. uh, who, in the first episode of the show, mm. uh, a serial killer is killing people based on his... Books, it's like right. a super fan people with, and so the police think that he's doing it, and so they make him the process when they arrest him. And he's so impressed by the female detective that he asks the mayor who he's a friends with if he's allowed to shadow her for his research for his next book. And then because he's a writer who writes crime novels, he also sort of helps them solve murders. Oh, okay. It's very sort of like you know, it's, it's very PG telly. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, like it's yeah, not, yeah, this yeah. is not the wire. No, it's, it's, uh, <laughs> but it's great. But it's obviously Nathan yeah. Fillion. He's like you know, he's really charming. <laughs> No, no, no. <laughs> it's, ver- it's, it's very, very PG. PG. Yes. It's all about necrophilia. Yeah. Yeah. Bit of necrophilia in yeah, there. Yeah. I'm not 100% sure we've uh, labelled this up yeah. right, guys, you know. It is one of those shows that when it starts, you get the thing goes, the following programme contains violence. <laughs> okay. scenes, and you, you watch it and you go, Sex no, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. <laughs> no, it doesn't at all. Uh, yeah, but it's, I think it's quite, it's very sort of in, enjoyable, yeah. you know. Uh, it's like, it's fun. It's, it knows, it knows it's, yeah. It understands that this is a, a hanger that you have to, you know, you yeah. understand that you've just got to find a reason to get this thing going and off we go. He never oh, became but... as big as he should have done, did he? No, there's just something we could have mentioned, but he is, but yeah, <laughs> yeah. But I think he's one of those people like, like Joe Castle was obviously like yeah. huge yeah. for like, like was it Fire, 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 fire mm. and he's, yeah, in, he's massive, in the rookie isn't now, isn't he? Yes, and, that's mm. right. Because he was always. But in Firefly, he's always meant to be the next Harrison Ford. Yeah, kind of thing, cause yeah. he had that charm, and and then if, I think probably Firefly could have carried on going. Yeah, he would have done. But he was in like you know he's like friends with James Gunn, so he's yeah, yeah. Been he's could like been cameos Guardians in all of the stuff. cameos Guardians. in all right, of the yeah. sort of James Gunn movies and things like that. Mm. So, but also you know he's like again it's one of the things we go he could be as good as he could have been, but then he's like the leading castle. Mm. Which means he's like not short of a few bob because yeah. he's on yeah, like course, yeah. he's, he's on like enough. eight seasons of primetime <laughs> telly money. Do you know what I mean? So whether yeah. you, like, however you gauge, yeah, yeah, there's like you're not a Hollywood superstar, but there's also I work constantly. Yeah, exactly. That's yeah, yeah, probably yeah. earn a quarter of a yeah. million an episode for like. 12 years you're probably alright I, yeah. like, I don't know he'll I don't be, know I'm, yeah. those are just figures I'm inventing but you know That's what I mean like, he's yeah. probably alright but I thought because the character is good fun 
Uh, I would have a lovely time. And he's a writer, so he'd be able to tell me some stories and keep me entertained. Perfect. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Does it ever come out that he is the killer? No. Then that could be a worry. If, yeah, yeah. Obviously, if you're no. sharing Ireland no, with no. a killer. Voluntarily, so. As well. Voluntarily. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Could be. I'd choose a killer. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I want someone with Either absolutely that. no other witnesses <laughs> to my potential death. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, guys, let me rethink this. I think that Richard Dello might be the better option. <laughs> Perfect. But we will take that certainly as a, uh, a safe answer. I'm Good glad. Work. Thank you. All right. So you and um, Mr. Castle. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, what are you snuggling up to of an evening and listening to? What album from the noughties oh. might you be a... Uh, this is a tricky one. Easing, mm-hmm. Because I suddenly realised don't really like many albums from the, <laughs> the noughties. I, I, really, I struggle with this. I was, 90s yeah. was like... 90s, yeah, 90s I was like... Yeah. You know, yeah. like yeah. In the noughties, I was like, the songs I like, and I like stuff. But yeah, generally yeah. speaking, throughout the noughties, I pretty much just... All the new music I listened to was old music I hadn't heard before. Right, yeah, okay. Yeah. And obviously, like, things were on, but it was like, oh, that's quite a nice yeah, song. Yeah. But I would never buy it. They wouldn't go mad for yes. the album or, like, you know, there was lots of great songs. But yeah. I think albums were starting to... Albums was well, tricky. Yeah, it was all singles, so it was I would souls, probably yeah. say, uh, because I'm a huge fan, mm. the David Bowie reality album from 2004, oh, okay, nice. which is a... Perfectly lovely David Bowie album. Yeah, yeah. with some quite lovely songs yeah. on it. You so don't get many stinkers with Mr. Bowie. No, uh, he's, no. uh, he's all right. Even like he even a, David Bowie doing on. even David Bowie doing like normal songs is still better than Freshly most people bucks, trying yeah. really, really, really yeah, hard. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Very, very true. It has been a bit more of a struggle, certainly. I would say. Much, so what we we yeah. four yeah. amps in this yeah. time around, aren't we? But yeah. it's definitely a downturn. Yeah. I think we maybe maybe include the nineties in. Maybe noughties, nineties mishmash. Maybe, maybe it, maybe, yeah, it maybe. might have to be. Or you know, just yeah. do more research well, and do did, it properly. Are, yeah, exactly. <laughs> or, or yeah, we just become really militant and say no. Just do it properly. Yeah. If we had a, t- we've got a whole ten <laughs> years worth of music. Yeah, yeah. You can't find one. Can't one, find one yeah. album. Can't find one album you oh, don't hate. Woe is me. If we had said the nineties, what would you have gone for? Oh, for Dale's changing it. Oh, I'm just saying. Just gone wrong. Dale's gone wrong. He's asking me to end the multiverse. Yeah, he's answered the question. You started to do. Yeah, in so true Magnus Magnus. You just want a uh, an album from the nineties. I would I would like to listen. To yeah, yeah. Just, oh, I said now there's too many. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah that's now it's pretty on the spot. She didn't research. Like, Let's shit. say. Uh, it's going through the uh, jukebox at the minute. No, yeah, yeah. That, I would say uh, that was one to like listen to. That's fun. We can have a nice little listen yeah, to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would probably yeah. say any of the Ben Folds five albums. Yeah, yeah. any yeah. particular yeah. favourites or. Well, I do like uh, Ben Folds 5 by Ben Folds 5, but I think yeah. Whatever and Ever Amen is probably the one I would uh, say, which is the one that's got... What's the one with Brick? Of, Brick that's on. the one with Brick yeah. and Battle of Who Could yeah, Care yeah. Less, yeah. And, uh, which is yeah, a great, like, like yeah. it's all sort of great, I would say that one probably. Nice. For a 90s, but, yeah. you know, that's not the brief. That's not the brief. Yeah. No, 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 just... Richard, you're an absolute rogue. The internal, the internal <laughs> logic <laughs> the, the internal logic is flawed. Like, <laughs> no, uh, the dynamic's been absolutely... <laughs> no. We've been shook to our very core. <laughs> Phil's, yeah. Phil's yeah. gasp. Phil's that, <laughs> let's stick to the naughty. <laughs> <laughs> Phil's shaking his... There's <laughs> definitely a proposition that we have to fulfil. <laughs> stick to the naughty's list. Sorry. Let's bring it back to naughty's then. <laughs> Or anything that Richard says. In <laughs> uh, He's barred from asking any questions. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mike's been turned off. Yeah. Fade him down, Barry. Fade I'm him down. So angry. Uh, okay. <laughs> Let's veer away from music. Did you find film any easier from the North? Yes. Mm. So what? What one? I mean, it is again. It's a big ask yeah, yeah. to narrow down to one film from a whole decade. Yeah. But could you put a finger on something mm. you'd you'd watch quite happily night after night? Yeah. Until, actually, there's quite a lot of films rescue. I would uh, I would watch. But I think if I had to say like. The film I would want to watch again and again and mm. again from the 90s, it would definitely be Crank. Oh, okay. which is wow, uh, Statham. the Jason Statham mm. master for genuinely one yeah. of the best films ever. I was made. not expecting that, yeah. I must admit. I had so, so many <laughs> different yeah. things yeah. going through my Crank. head that you might have said. Yeah. Especially Crank. when he was talking earlier about art house films, yeah. and I'm yeah. thinking, oh, yeah. we're Spoke, gonna be, spoken poetry. If, if, uh, if you've not seen Crank, it's <laughs> amazing. Uh, uh, if you, if you, criminally you, you've seen it. You've the, seen uh, Crank. Yeah, it's yeah, basically, yeah. is this the one where he's got the heart? That's problem? the one. If you, he has to if you seen, if you seen yes. Speed, you know Speed, yeah, where the bus, yeah, yeah. the bus can't go under fifty yeah. miles an hour and explodes. It's heart rate, yeah, isn't it? yeah, Jason yeah, Statham yeah. is the bus from yeah. Speed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but a bus that fucks a woman in a market square. There you go. Everyone watches you, Just to keep his heart rate. Yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> and so, well, yeah. Chase and stay with it. <laughs> and plays a bus. But what's great about it is, mm. is it starts mm. and it just starts. He, like, he's been poisoned Bang. with this like slow, mm. like slow acting poison because it's supposed yeah. to be awful. Yeah. And then he has to keep his adrenaline up to yeah. stop his arteries from clogging whilst yeah. also trying to find out who's killed him. But it starts with him waking up, mm. finding out he's poisoned. None of this like 20 minutes no. of him like yeah, being an assassin. Well, here's it's the story. Like, he wakes up, he's poisoned. Within like three minutes, he's out the door on a fucking rampage. It's like, yes, just yeah, filmmakers, 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 get the fuck on with it. Don't need 40 minutes of nothing <laughs> happening. Just like start the film. It's called The Island. We don't, why are we not on we the island it, yeah, yet? Yeah, yeah, get yeah, to yeah. the fucking island, yeah, people. Sure. Like, come on. And it's great. It's like Jason Statham using an English accent, plays a Mexican assassin <laughs> called Chev Chelios. <laughs> Chev Chelios is oh, brilliant. Yeah. There you put it like that. It's a fucking yeah. classic. Yeah, it's it's a genuinely, it's a genre-defining piece of cinema that should be held in the same regard as The Matrix and The French Connection. Uh, <laughs> they're the three that people Actually, that's what, That was what was on the poster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that is a fine shout. Unexpected, <laughs> but a fine, yeah, fine yeah, yeah. shout. It was definitely unexpected. Mm. <laughs> that was great. I would also like to point out that Jason Statham is the only actor where I've seen every single one of his films. Yeah, really? uh, well, to be fair, okay. if you've seen one of his films, <laughs> yeah, you've seen yeah. every one of his films. But I have also yeah. seen. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> you've seen yeah, the entire yeah, yeah. output of that. Uh, that, that, that. What was he? Was he a tandem diver as well? Wasn't he like a platform he was, diver? He yeah, was, yeah, but he, mm, yeah, the, the Olympics. But, you know, I think we mentioned it in Lockstock. It was because he was French Connection model, wasn't it? That's how he got yeah. the gig. Because mm. yeah. yeah. French Connection funded looks great in Lockstock, pair of, uh, and that's how he got the gig. Yeah. And then he became well. To be fair, he became the biggest one out of them all. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, it's not bizarre, isn't it? Yeah, it's not saying not the one we've been. Again, took him a while because everyone's like, yeah, Vinnie Jones and all that, and then suddenly he's got this guy, but he's great. Like, but also he would just do. Like little bits mm. in movies, you know, he would just kind of, he would kind of like said yes, but in that way where you're supposed to just say yes to whoever wants yeah. to give you anything, and then yeah. you eventually you yeah. just amass like a quite decent yeah. back catalogue of well, things. Like, you know, like, like you alluded to earlier with the Travis and the mm. Rage Against Things. He just does what he does. Yeah, yeah. But people he like it. Well. He doesn't, yeah, exactly, he doesn't want yeah. to do anything no. else. That's what he does. He's so one of the like, few yeah. actors where he is his own genre. He, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you go, it's right. a Jason he's, Statham he's movie, a, you know he's exactly what you're going to Yeah, that's what I was going to say. He's the Stallone of the 80s. He's the new... Yeah, he's the go-to action. The Van Damme kind of thing. Yeah. But even things like he's in Collateral, isn't he? Yeah. So he just turns up as the guy who just goes... And then walks off. He's also the guy... He's also the... Um, French national team coach who gets murdered at the beginning of the Pink Panther remake with <laughs> uh, they yeah, just shot him in the crowd going no 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 yeah and then he's dead, dead. and then his ring gets stolen it's like that's Jason Statham it's like yeah. because he you know of course he did yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. we got, got a job all right yeah. it's like he doesn't read anything he says, yeah yeah, yeah I'll do but it. weird it's the yeah. kind of it's like the sort of the Michael Caine approach to act yeah. to like mm. to movie yeah. stardom do you know what I mean always Jason Statham yeah. in whatever I do yeah yeah well, it's a bit of Connery there are a few like that. But also just sort of say yes to yeah. the things that pay the money that you're not going to hate Absolutely. doing. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, of yes, I'll do that. Do you know what I mean? Like, In and out, 20 minutes. What? Yeah, go on then. It's I'm the great, yeah. the great quote, you know, because Michael Caine couldn't go to the Oscars to collect his Oscar because he was filming Jaws 4. Working, yeah. You know, like... Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, God, yeah. Is it really? <laughs> yeah. So he, could, he won an Oscar and he couldn't collect his Oscars because he was filming in the Bahamas. What did he win the Oscar for? Uh, Hannah Jaws, and her sisters. <laughs> Jaws 3. Oh, yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Imagine that. Yeah. Oh, he yeah, won the Oscar exactly. for the bit where he had to tell everyone how, how excited he was to be in Jaws 4. Oh, <laughs> I think there's a bit where someone said to him, like, oh, Jaws 4 was terrible. I saw Jaws 4, it was terrible. And then Michael Caine said, I haven't seen it, but you should see the house it bought my mum. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. 100%. <laughs> oh, dear. That's, that's yeah, he was getting on with Mrs. Brody, wasn't he? Old uh, Mr. Kane, wasn't he? It was, it was the love interest, wasn't he, in George Wolfe? I think, well, you know, he's yeah. the... Uh, I think he was him. Well, I mean, he's, he's like he's that sort of it's that weird well, thing. Love in the interest 80s. of the shark. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> him and the jaws yeah, got it yeah, on. Yeah. Forget the necrophilia. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is taking a very dark turn. <laughs> him and Bruce. Yeah. Do you remember when Michael Caine was having sex with a fish? What, 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 what happened? Yeah. And right. did we turn left at the lights? Yeah. Glad <laughs> that one wasn't in 3D. <laughs> yeah. Oh, mate. Yeah, God. We're going to need a bigger mate, what? Yeah. Oh, no, no, oh, boat. Mate. Okay. Maybe that's how he kills the shark yeah. just, just, just she, can't, she can't stay down not with three on her 
<laughs> He's yeah. plugging a dolphin's blowhole. Oh, it's absolutely <laughs> horrific. And on that disgusting <laughs> mental image, <laughs> let's let's uh, let's uh, let's bring it back to the island. Uh, so now we finish getting rid of, of all dicks. the uh, yeah. <laughs> now we finish getting rid of all the fish it's around the, sens- the island. The sensible island. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, I mean, this question could be impressive <laughs> given what we've uh, we've currently mm. asked. Um, so we have asked other people what outfit Ten. they might be wearing, but yes. I think mm. you've sort of mentioned off. Well, air, I'm just worried. But, you know, mm. I want to make sure I take this all seriously. Yeah, just yeah. answer no. It no. occurs uh, to me. Yeah, no, it just occurs to me. That because uh, I was thinking about this, and I was like, as a big plus size gentleman, I have to wear whatever fits me. I have yeah. no choice in what I wear. Yeah. So in the noughties, right. it's basically exactly what I wore in the nineties <laughs> and the eighties, which was literally anything it that fit still me. Still fits. No, <laughs> fair play. So I looked, but so I googled like noughties fashion because yeah, I was yeah. like, sure, no. people would have yeah, worn yeah, noughties yeah. fashion. It was like, I well, I basically theoretically, I would have worn cargo shorts and a t-shirt and flip-flops because I do that now just because Will. it's comfortable yeah but yeah. to be fair think so, about the naughty I don't think yeah. my fashion was much different to what it no, is now no. you'd have just been jeans and a t-shirt yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. you essentially find your way don't yeah. you yeah, yeah. Early, early 20s ago yeah. well, this is it now yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm in that's it. He's oh, like, like you might you might be a sort of cardigan jumper man, you know, as you yeah, 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 basically yeah. the sort of the t shirts and the you, you'll, trousers. You'll change are, a little bit. It'd be something you add to you. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, you might be that. a scarf with your coat, man. But Ooh, you know yeah, what I mean? yeah, you're not yeah. like. Do you, remember, do you remember Phil when he used to wear a scarf every now and again? A little cravat. A cravat. Yeah, he dropped that, didn't mm. he? He's gone mm. back. He's gone back to the. Uh, I don't remember that. Did I? Yeah. You, know, oh, you, you thought um, you were a bit of a. a I like to think. Oh, yeah. I like to <laughs> think he's wearing it under his hat as a bandana. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Like he's in a street gang. He's very much. <laughs> yeah. We'll, we'll find like out if it's red or blue, and we'll know which way we are. Okay. Okay. The savage like. bloodletting. CP Castle Point. It's a seven. It's a seven. I like to see Phil in a tuxedo. And like a mermaid's uh, bottom half. Oh my god! Yeah, yeah just yeah, just flapping around. Difficult to walk on the island, just yeah. sort of washing up on the island. Oh yeah, like really just taking it smart casual. To yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. So expecting Daryl Hannah, but getting Phil. Yeah. <laughs> Would there be a bulge going there? Yeah, a bit of bulge. <laughs> That's after you had a, after you had a piece of Michael Caine and yeah, the shark. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Is that why you want, want fish legs on him? So Michael so Caine jumps yeah. out oh, of nowhere. Oh, maybe he's the love child of Michael Caine and George. Oh, we're really fish sex yeah. heavy tonight, aren't we? <laughs> it's, it's, yeah. the, it's not often it's, we hear that. Yeah, no. Yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah. I have to put a warning. There's a niche to this one, isn't there? This is probably, this is probably the most fish sex we've had in a podcast. Yeah. Not the only time we've yeah. turned up, the yeah. most. It's the most, definitely top three. So it's nice to have made the podium. Again. <laughs> We've definitely found a title for it anyway. There you go. <laughs> right. So let, let's take away the, uh, the, the, picture of, the, the picture of you just wearing a lovely pair of cargo shorts while Pardon, Phil yeah. somehow jumps out of nowhere and has sex with Michael Caine. like a potential <laughs> Linkin Park or something. Yeah. <laughs> let's, um, let's talk about uh, real life humans in that case. Real life no. humans. <laughs> let's, let's think uh, crushes from the, oh. from the noughties. Was there a particular... Human well, being that quite, grabs the quite, eye. It was quite a good decade, wasn't it? And again, yeah. I was just trying to think of ones that weren't sort of carry ons from the nineties. Do you know, like <laughs> <Can I> carry <laughs> on? Barbara Windsor, Barbara yeah. Windsor. Yeah. Yeah. Joan yeah. Sims. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah all the ones, <laughs> ones from... I don't know where that was. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, I didn't commit. I, mean, I was going to yeah. yeah. go. Yeah. You yeah. Half yeah. Half yeah. Half yeah. Half yeah. Half yeah. It was like you thought about doing a Keith Williams impression, then sort of just disgusted and disappointed yourself at the same time. It was like a little voice went, "You're better than this." Rich, yeah, you're no, no, a this. little bit. Yeah, <laughs> it's, like, it's like my dad talking to me when he is. Give me a stern talk to me. <laughs> 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 So yeah, have you got? So uh, I was trying got... to think of ones who were like specifically mm. naughty. Naughty's based. Onwards, yeah, so, uh, I thought the one I'd go for. Nice highbrow agenda. Yeah. Now we're bringing it back from crank to something a little bit more, yeah, yeah. A little bit more classy. Mm. Yeah. So I would go for the French actress Ludivine Sania. Ooh, who uh, wow, is nice. recently was in the Essex Serpent and Lupin on uh, <laughs> and, Serpent. and the Young Pope oh, yeah, the Essex Serpent on um, on yeah. Netflix. Yeah, but yeah, she was Tinkerbell in the uh, two thousand three oh, yeah, yeah. uh, yeah. Peter Pan movie. I'll get to check that. Yeah, lots of other things. Can't, can't picture it. No, yeah. We're, 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 about, of, we're about to lose. Name. I'm going to yeah. Google it. You know? nah. We're about to lose Phil. It's spelled it's spell, it's spell yeah. as it sounds. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Say that again. Good luck with that. Louis. <laughs> Louise Bobbly. <laughs> <Bobby. laughs> what? Who? Essex <laughs> actress. No. <laughs> <laughs> just, just Google Tinkerbell. Essex Tinkerbell, dancer. Tinkerbell, Tinkerbell cast. 2003. Yeah. <laughs> and see what you get from there. 
Okay, and would there would were you um, proficient with the uh, the fairer sex back then? Did you have a I number mean, of lines that you might use? On? I mean, none that worked. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I mean, but you, you did have lines. You've got to, you've got to join a very select I mean, club. It's in very that case. difficult to get anywhere if you don't talk to people. So you have to try these things. <laughs> it's it's certainly harder. harder. Yeah. And let's not forget this is this is before Tinder and things where you actually had to go hello. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah kids yeah. kids will never understand. They'll never understand. Will they? You no, couldn't just swipe understand. right. You had to be yeah. like, oh, I think they're quite nice. Yeah. I might you have to talk approach to them face to face. I'm going to put myself out here. Hello. Would you like to have dinner or something or a drink? I just thought it was really nice of me. So, well. You know, I thought as her name's, you know, Lu- I sort of do. I thought I'd do a witty play on words, which Delicious. is both filthy they and love of love because they, they nothing they more they that. like than um, terrible puns. <laughs> and, it's, uh, it's almost a guarantee. And insistence, yeah. and insistence on finishing the deal. <laughs> Guaranteed deal making. If I know one up. thing about women, it's they love puns. <laughs> if I know they one love thing about puns, women, and, and, I don't. and you <laughs> acting like it's a foregone <laughs> conclusion. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> so long as you sell it, it's going to work. Yeah. It's going to work. What, what? Very much. She was like, very nice, by the way. Which yeah, very nice. Correct. correct. <laughs> it's got this very horrible nice. image of yeah, like, yeah. Phil going home tonight, going Claire waking up, going to seven or one over top of the belt. Very nice. He's already, he's already said he won't be able to sleep to me. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. So it's going to be up. So it's, it's gonna be maybe it. it's quite a good way to calm you down. <laughs> yeah. 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 Please, uh, please, please you, leave it until after the recording. Be, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nothing, nothing worse than that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Clean your bell all night. Like, oh. this, is off, this, is, you know, this is already off-putting enough. <laughs> yeah, uh, exactly, yeah. <laughs> well, be, before he starts, quick, quick yeah, quickly sorry, hit, hit us with that line. Well, that you might, this uh, is uh, uh, Insania, so I was going to say, you're so beautiful... It's driving me crazy, but that's okay. I'd like to be insania. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. And then you could branch out into a Peter Andre. And then song. I could do the Peter Andre, yeah. so she yeah. would oh, be yeah, nice. be- beautiful girl. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> nailed it. He never lost it. Uh-huh. Yeah. Delightful. And I could create the waterfall. <laughs> Coming out, of, yes. Oh. Feels about yeah, to do that if we leave him long enough. Uh, just, then what? Then what? Then what? That wasn't even a word. Oh, yeah, then waterfalls oh, away. Uh, this is weird. We've gone from Kenneth Williams to it was David <laughs> Bellamy. So David like, Bellamy. Yeah, yeah. Right. Right. Okay, so I know it's, it's Lenny Henry's David <laughs> Bellamy. So, we've gone to. <laughs> it's, a, it's a mere drip from a tap than a waterfall. Goose goose in the undergrowth. <laughs> 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 Oh, I forgot Lenny Henry used to do a David Bellamy. It's absolutely <laughs> atrocious, isn't it? Yes. Oh, oh God. That's that. taking me back. I feel ever so slightly queasy. But, um, yeah. like it's supposed the... to be noughties nostalgia, not yeah. general nostalgia. The consummate right. professionals that we are, we're going to carry on. <laughs> Please keep your references suitably dated. Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> bring, it, bring it on back, like S Club 7. Okay. Um, so, we've got a couple of questions left for the, uh, for the island, then we can... Uh, we can free you, hopefully. Uh, so let's uh, let's talk about the opposite of your your crush, more mortal enemy. Mm. Is there a particular um, naughty's celeb, or could even be a, a real life human being that you would hate to have been stranded on that island with? Uh, We've had sort of Richard Madeleys mention that kind of oh, Mr. Yeah. Motivators from the nineties. We had. Yeah, Jim generally, Perry. generally Jim just Perry annoying is, people, yeah, over the top comedians. Um, it could be what you want, though. Lot, but yeah, but, I mean, yeah. I mean, I just, I don't, you know, I try to, I try, I've tried to let go of anger, find, <laughs> uh, find the good in everyone. But I try, you know, yeah. this is this is meaningless. But I will say, uh, of all, there are, you know, we go mm. like, if I was on Room One Hundred and One and they were like, you had to pick yeah. a person, mm. yeah, just, you just had to, you know what I mean? Which yeah, essentially, there, I would probably, I don't even know if it's naughties, but they must have done some shit in the noughties because they never <laughs> stopped working, did. do they? Yeah, 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 of course. I'd probably say uh, Nicky Campbell. Oh, oh unquestionably, uh, yeah. yeah, Wheel of Fortune just host, sort of yeah. something. Oh, he was shit. Radio. He was so but it's weird just fortune, like, yeah. Do you know when you're just like, who the fuck wants this person on telly? Yeah. Like, nothing about <laughs> was, what they do is everywhere. like, yeah. nothing about what yeah. they do warrants, like, yeah. Yeah. warrants life. He was life. an investigative journalist. <laughs> he was, point, yeah. Wasn't yeah, he? yeah, but it's just, you know. Cobblers, absolutely. Some but people, I don't yeah. know. And he just, it's like, it's like people, there's some people where they go, you know what, especially with comedy, you go, well, it's yeah. not my cup of tea, but, you know, like, for example, someone like Michael McIntyre, it's not my thing, but he's yeah. obviously good. You can at, appreciate he's good. what it's just, it's not do, good. It's yeah. just not what I like. Not, not like yeah. Yeah. And that's not the... But then there's other people, you go, what the... Like, what is this? What do you bring Who to, are you? Yeah, what do you bring to the like, world? Yeah. Why, yeah. like, of all the people you could... There's, like, a million people you could have hosting this show, and you've got yeah. this... 
Oxygen I watched Wheel of Fortune on like Challenge. Yeah, it's Challenge recently. Yeah, he's so creepy, isn't he? Yeah. It's really creepy. And not, oh, but in that, also in that kind of that sort of forced comedy that's not yes. funny. Yeah. You know? yeah. And you're like, I don't know. Like, you know, you kind of go, I don't think he's a psychopath. Oh, he's, <laughs> but he's there's a that sort of flirt with the that contestants proper sort of well. like, oh, there's a sort it? of like, oh, it's like, sort of like really, yeah. really creepy flirting with yeah. like a, a young woman. He like, oh, ah, yeah. so he is horrible. If it's there was ever a newspaper report yeah. about him doing something, yeah. he'd go, yeah, I can't yeah. that. Then you watch, Why the fuck didn't you realise? Then you watch it, other yeah. shows where, mm. like, you know, it's the eighties, nineties. So, like, the host has got his arm around everyone, yeah. and that still doesn't seem as creepy, creepy. and invasive yeah. as the way yeah. he stands near people on Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know you're right. I mean? like, <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> a good answer. Do you that's think he could be the devil? <laughs> No, devil, no, yeah. no, no, not, no, not quite the devil. Do you think no. he, could, he could be the devil. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Big shout out. Do you think he could be? I don't know. I'm putting it out. Got to ask these questions. Yeah. Yeah. But I just think, questions. like, you know, uh, even other people, like people, you know, there's other people who are awful. You go, yeah, but you know what? I probably could, I could, I could have a chat. Or yeah, I could, yeah. But they just be like, I don't, I would, like, I couldn't do it. Do you no. know what I mean? Like, that's yeah, it. Yeah. You'd, you'd it would act, actually be the worst thing in the world to be stuck out on a desert island. Heavy rock. Yeah. That's a good answer. Even, even Richard Castle couldn't save me from Nicky Campbell. So what about if you're back in Montreal? Yeah. And. Nicky Campbell comes up to you and puts his arm around you. <laughs> <laughs> I probably, you know, just, I don't know. I That's, don't know. I, 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 you know, I'm not a violent man. I'd, I'd, like, I'd like to think Bill Hader might step in. I'd, I'd like to think yeah, Bill Hader yeah. would have. Yeah. Or Terry Wogan. He's, Terry Wogan, yeah. Bill Hader, the, you know, the classic, the, the classic double act. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There's got to be one on every continent. That's the thing, <laughs> oh, isn't right, it? You yeah. know what I mean? Every, 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 every hotel they, bar, there's got to be one of them. Yeah. It's like a franchise throughout the nation. Yeah. And raise their legendary status. Even more, status. yeah. Absolutely, wow. amen. God bless them both. Yeah, that's a good answer. I like great show yeah, on that great. one. So I wonder if this is taken away from. Oh no, so it's a boy band specific uh, in the final question for you, yeah, Mr. Yeah. S. So yeah, we're talking Naughty's boy bands. If you can uh, recall such beasts, <laughs> genuinely um, don't know any boy bands. Oh, but I'll, I'll fight we, eight we can help steps. You, we can help you out. Do you know what? I'm sure. Oh, I'm sure steps actually would have. What was the main yeah, hate from Steps? I don't think we've had today. So uh, so you got obviously Boy oh, Westlife. West Life. Oh, they were Boys Life would have carried on. Oh, five uh, were still five, rocking five. around. Uh, and Blue. Sync. Blue with um, Blue. Yeah, but Hate yeah, is a good yeah, shout out. Yeah. I'm, I'm I mean, sure Steps is the only person yeah. I can think of. And, you, and you, because you'd, I think you'd easily be able to kill could. I could kill him. You could destroy him. I mean, I'm not saying I would. A minute ago, he was. Person, yeah. but I didn't say I want to. I just got quite excited of it, didn't I? I could, you know, like could. you there's, know how you go, like I yeah. could kill a cat. I couldn't kill a cat. <laughs> yeah, I could kill a. There's, there's a certain, there's a certain security knowing that if you had, to, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's not even could. arrogance. It's just, yeah. it's yeah. just an it's awareness. Just it's just an awareness of facts. It's scientific so, fact. If I could H was kill looking a uh, saucer of milk in your kitchen, would you, <laughs> <laughs> potentially. There's a, there's a shout from the bedroom. Yeah, H is in the in the flower bed having a shit again. I'm out there, love. Don't worry. So like I, this, this is this is for a pot noodle, isn't it? So I would be this is for a pot noodle. Motivated is this to, what uh, would really push you? What what flavour might push you over the edge to go from harming H from steps <laughs> to physically <laughs> killing H from steps? Uh, well, it would have to be they'd have to be the beef and tomato because they're the classic. That's my mm. favourite one. I do like that. Don't put the tomato sauce in it though. I n- never oh, put the tomato sauce. Say what's in. ketchup in it? That one. Don't, yeah. want, don't want ketchup in. Don't want ketchup and gravy. No. <laughs> it's a bit, it yeah, is a randomly bizarre. strange ketchup, beef yeah. and tomato. It's like yeah. Thanks, mate. That's beautiful. <laughs> less, beef. Less, they, they can't call it. They can't call, the it they can't call it gravy spaghetti, can <laughs> they? Like, yeah, but like yeah, yeah. being super noodles and then just put ketchup on top yeah. of it, wouldn't it? That's disgusting. Yeah, oh, you yeah. look like excited by that, like, though. He What's that? The, uh, when I said that, you was like, oh, I love that. No, well, yeah. Oh, right. Got, yeah, ooh, I thought, I thought you looked more, more of that sounds I think, Although I will say, I will say, mm. in, in full disclosure, mm. let's you know, let's let, let's let's be fair mm. to the sadists that do put it in there. I've never actually put it in there and had it ruined because I just went, fuck, would I want ketchup in me? I don't, I don't like ketchup. No, I, I don't know, like ketchup I'm a, either. I'm a brown sauce. Yeah, daddy's, I'm, brown sauce. I'm with you. Daddy's mate. Daddy's. Yeah, daddy's good. And now all the millions of sauces that have suddenly become available. You know, like, mm. now, you know. Yeah. Perry yeah, Perry like, and yeah, all yeah. that. They're like, they're like bloody comedians, aren't they? There's thousands yeah. of them. Yeah. When I moved for yeah. them, it was, it was it, life was so much easier when there were when there were four when there were four sauces. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mustard, brown sauce, yeah. red sauce, and and mayo, mayo, mayo. mayo. mayo yeah. and like what do we need anymore? Salad cream for <laughs> some fucking reason. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <The> vegetarians. <laughs> yeah, which tastes really nice on a on a turkey sandwich. But, <laughs> like, mm. Mm. 
I don't know. It's like just some things you go. <laughs> like, know, well, please do that noise again. <laughs> salad cream, mm. piccalilli, just things. Mm. I, I, I used to have mm. salad cream and omelet. Salad cream and omelet. <laughs> uh, I used to cook omelet with like yeah. ham in it and then yeah. put salad cream in. Oh, but then you wouldn't <laughs> put tomato in your pot no, noodle. No, that no, seems... no, that's fucking wrong. Oh, he's, he's got some levels. Yeah. What, what, what was the day where you just thought, I know what this omelet needs? <laughs> do you know what this, I don't know. I didn't I'm just gonna... See, the weird thing is, I, I don't like do salad cream. Do you want mushrooms? Do you want when I was younger, I did, cheese? When I was younger, I used to Fuck love salad it, cream. No, salad cream. I don't like it anymore, but I did oh. use like salad cream, oh, okay. but yeah. I wouldn't have it anymore. I don't know when it was that it's like, like as a nation we all just decided no more salad cream didn't mm. we it was like like <laughs> the salad cream and all of a sudden was no it, was it for the, uh, was it for yeah, the Queen's 60th Jubilee I don't know <laughs> <laughs> there must have been a vote or something I, just I don't know it's, 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 not, it's not a like, referendum it's not like yeah. instead of it I had mayonnaise instead of it wasn't it's you know what I mean true, it, it just yeah. suddenly just no just didn't all of a sudden just not dry dry boiled potatoes maybe I don't know but also maybe it's that day we just stopped having like Sandwiches for tea on a Sunday, you know, like that yeah, kind yeah, of like, yeah, that that kind of like yeah. Sunday tea yeah. where it was like cold yeah. meat and stuff. Cold, and yeah, like, yeah. You don't, and then you know, what I mean, there's just oh, some, something thing. happened where I, like I miss those easier days. Yeah, you knew what was happening. Like, like, yeah, yeah. 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 got me Sunday sandwiches. Sit there, it's like don't want to do my own work. Crescent, don't want to have a bath. It's all right, but then you know, <laughs> love joys on. You get to have sandwiches for tea. Yes, love joy and sandwich, absolute treat. Yeah, Howard's way, and then it's love joy. Yeah, sit down, sharp. The whole point of Sunday was there's nothing on the telly, so you got no excuse not to have a bath and do your homework it's very true yeah back in Sunday the day back in bad. the day Sunday it was like it was, was a conspiracy to yeah. make you like Last you're going to do the housework maybe you're going to do the housework you're going to do the housework the cleaning no yeah. what are you gonna, else are you going to do watch yeah. the fucking so, tele go out anywhere that's the education show. minister yeah. got together well, with yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. songs of praise last of the yeah, summer yeah. wine yeah like say antiques road antiques show road show <laughs> still going isn't it it's like yeah catchphrase Catchphrase. Uh, oh, Catchphrase. Catchphrase was. No, no, I thought he was just naming then. your Sunday evenings. Bullseye was oh, Sunday, okay. wasn't no. it? Sunday Bullseye was. Yeah, yeah. That, that, yeah, actually, yeah. Your dad spent all day in the pub and then came back and watched the pub-based quiz shows. Like, Bullseye. Yeah. 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 Extend <laughs> your day. Yeah. Treat yourself. I've got dad. time for Bullseye. A lot of time for Bullseye. Uh, everyone loves Bullseye. It's yeah. great. Yeah. Now that was a host that could hold a, a person around the shoulder without being creepy. Yeah, yeah. Also, yeah, there was mm. yeah, there was some points there. Huh? But he's great. Oh, I mean, he was mental, mm. but not creepy. <laughs> he was time. wonderful. He was patronising as well. Well, well he yeah. wasn't smart. Yeah, but Come he here, lads. Like, go on there. But he was, yeah. But he Two women blonde, in tracksuits. Like, Come here, you, lads. Where are you from? And he goes, <laughs> we're up the north. What's going on? He goes, oh, we're unemployed. And he goes, oh, it's difficult. And he was, no, he was all like genuinely <laughs> yeah. like, oh, yeah, it's yeah. a shame. None yeah. of this like nonsense. It was all like, Very you know, true. If you went on there and you were like poor. He was like, oh, yeah, it's tough life, isn't it? Don't worry. I'm sure you're going to do well. That's a Campbell would have got on the bullseye. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I, imagine, yeah. I imagine he tried get out a for fucking it. job. I mean, yeah, yeah. Yeah. He's a bit partridgey, actually, wasn't he? Actually, Campbell. Campbell. Probably. What more than Richard Madeley? No, probably not. No. no, he's a poor man's Richard Madeley. That's who he is. <laughs> yeah. Really? Wow, that's, a... that's what he is. Mm. And it takes something to say that, doesn't it? Yeah, Jesus. Yeah, he's a sinister Madeley. That's yeah. what it is. He's a sinister, sinister Madeley. <laughs> I think we've just had our protagonist for the uh, the next. We've got to summarise the Desert Island Dicks. I wish I could. I, I'm I'm lost already. <laughs> uh, anyone anyone got a better memory than me? So we've got um, Castle, Richard Castle, Richard Castle, yourself settling down. You're listening to either a Ben Folds Five album from the '90s that's washed up by yeah. luck, or from the noughties it was uh, Reality by David Bowie. Yeah. Bowie. I did have some other Perfect. ones, but I don't know. You know, because that was the ball again. The noughties. Mm. Like Morrissey is massively problematic yeah. now, but he, we are the Quarry yeah, was true. a great album with like uh, oh, yeah. uh, so it's yeah. like comeback little that bit. Was his, yeah. like first of the gang, yeah, 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 yeah. Blood Irish Heart it was like a great yeah, album, yeah. A great album. But it's like it's Morrissey, so I can't listen to that anymore. <laughs> uh, you know, he's ruled a lot. You know, on that one. Yeah. I mean, I have heard it. It's not like I'm you know yeah. doing yeah. myself a yeah. service yeah. by listening by not <laughs> listening to it. It's like I've heard it enough. But yeah, true, true. So that was it. So, so we're doing that. We've we, we been the bad boy. He's boys. just a terrible he's racist. Just a massive. He's watching. <laughs> yeah, he's, is he really? Yeah, watching yeah, Crank, me. Watching, watching Crank. Yeah, the the Oscar winning. The yeah, Oscar winning Crank. crank. Right. Yeah, tough watch though. The Oscar. Whilst wearing um, khaki shorts and t-shirts. Khaki yeah. shorts and a t-shirt and flip flops. And flip flops. Uh, possibly a neckerchief if we can be uh, so <laughs> so bothered. <laughs> Uh, we're hopefully wooing uh, who was it sorry Phil Lou Devine uh, Senior yeah. <laughs> yeah I'm glad he came uh, to rescue uh, yeah. Tinkerbell from 2003 um, yeah. we're wooing her with a line about being in Senior and then yeah. singing Peter Andre's Beautiful Girl <laughs> yeah. um, I'm avoiding Nicky Campbell avoiding Nicky Campbell mm. while, eating, while eating a pot noodle on the 
corpse of H from Stan. <laughs> <laughs> Beef and tomato. That's a good finale, isn't so, it? Yeah. yeah, it's great. What a beautiful picture as he yeah. plays out the sunset. Yes. Yeah. You're using H's body as a little seat for Just, you and mm, Tinkerbell. Be like the beginning of Stan. Yeah. Also, the, well, if you ever get rescued by a helicopter... And it lands on like an H, yeah. like a giant H. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Beck- beckoning him in. <laughs> Land on this H. What H? That dead corpse. That dead <laughs> so left. That's delightful. That is quite a powerful set of answers. I like that, yeah. Mm. Very good. enjoyable. Uh, well, hopefully the rescue comes quite soon. Otherwise, we're going to leave you here on... Desert Island Dicks. Okay, let's uh, keep things moving. And we're going to talk to special guest Richard Sandling Woo-hoo. about his... Sorry, we were expecting more. Woo! Yeah, woo! 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 We're going to talk to uh, special guest Richard Sandling about his uh, movies and films of the noughties. So, Ooh. having been uh, stranded on the desert island, we know that you found it slightly more <laughs> difficult with music than film. Yes. So, should we tackle the, the tough stuff first? Yes. Let's talk music let's then. Okay. The Have you got, first. or could you come across a top three three mm. albums from that decade I mean that you would yes live and die by I mean did you have any honourables that didn't uh, make it mm. as well did well, you have some was close a few runs things where I was like oh that's uh, not that's like 2010 onward you know like yeah, right, messed yeah. up so um I say like lots of great songs, but I wasn't say that I was uh, particularly bothered yeah. about yeah. the albums. albums. Yeah. And the ones that I remember at the time going, Oh, I like that, mm. I've sort of quickly lost enthusiasm. You know what I mean? They, they okay. didn't really sort of linger yeah. in my mind. Like, yeah, sort we, of, we had this were, conversation yeah, we, that we were saying a lot of two thousand bands uh, mm. they seem to have good first albums, mm. but they could, just didn't follow it up. They right. just yeah. Either just change it off, yeah. or Either change tack, or just yeah. or like just when you go back and listen to it. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Just I loved it at like, first time. Yeah. But, um, I think we was thinking about that, like the Strokes. Just yeah, didn't yeah. Really love yeah. yeah. I, I mean, I think that. we all had the Strokes our number one album, maybe yeah. two thousand one. Yeah. But yeah, I don't think I, I don't think any of their other albums would make my top threes. No, but even when I listen back to the Strokes, yeah, yeah, it was all right. or that sort of stuff is lovely to hear every now and again, but not enough to pack out a full. Yeah, you're right. And so, yeah, I'm sure there's like, I mean, there was obviously interesting stuff, yeah. but I, it was all, for me, it was like, there was like great songs and then yeah. the band, you know, was quite good. Yeah. And, but then like, I remember even like watching like Glastonbury on, you know, on the telly mm-hmm. and like, and now they're bad. It's like, they've got that one song and I'm not saying they've only got that one song, yeah. but for me it was like, oh, everything else is a bit like. I'm not sitting through all yeah. this just for the yeah. last yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, let me know when you do the one that's like good. We're all here for, yeah. Then, <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. yeah I'll be on. in the queue for the burgers. But yeah, yeah, but also, yeah, so it's just not my thing. Do you know what I mean? But there's yeah, lots yeah. of good mm-hmm. stuff. But So I've got, uh, so the ones I remember liking. Are you are you building up to a sense of tension with a three two one? Or? Oh, I, do you want, I I suppose. Oh, oh. Um, love it's a, not love great. A I mean, I've already that. mentioned reality by David Bowie. So we'll leave that out as a, as a being part of the list. Because it's just like okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, it's a good one. Well, I thought let's try and think about I'll just try and make it like exciting. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, so I was thinking. I probably would put the We Are the Quarry by Morrissey, even though we can't like Morrissey anymore. No. And rightly <laughs> yeah. so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Doesn't questionable you know, questionable yeah, uh, moral. Right but if you put their artistic work away from yeah. the actual yeah. personality of I mean I just saying, but at the time that was a great yeah. album and it yeah, does yeah, it is yeah, like good. It was like a proper return to form and it was great. Yeah. Uh, but obviously he's awful, so I'm like <laughs> you know the unwritten caveat. Yeah, 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 yeah he is awful. <laughs> Then it's tricky. I, you know what I'm going to say? Because I just because I, I liked it, not because you know, even yeah. when you're like you fucking what? Okay. Uh, I would say for my second one, mm. probably the Trick to Life by the Hoosiers. Because oh, I really right, like yeah. Because that was the one was with the, the worried, about about Ray, Ray, worried about Ray. Worried about Ray. Yeah. Yeah. Goodbye, Mister Ray. Yeah. Because yeah. 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 I really yeah. liked that. Bouncy and it was just nice to see people stuff, like yeah. having a laugh. Yes. Yes. Because yeah. I like like rock stars, but I just find the sort of the noughties. Everyone's start. It's the, it's the start of everything getting po faced and tedious and yeah. self indulgent yeah. and yeah, wanky. Yeah, right. yeah. yeah, they had fun. Everything. They, yeah. yeah, this is before everything got a bit no Christopher Nolan, didn't it? And just yeah. like yeah. Yeah. took itself too seriously and went on for too long. Yeah, uh, <laughs> that nice. is, so I, I quite like a bit of nice. life. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. A bit of life so, and stuff. Yeah, that's the whole point of music, isn't it? It's yeah, to give you a bit. Everyone of always wants. No, you know, you sort of sit there go. Not enough bands go. I want to be madness. Yeah, in my yeah, opinion, yeah, yeah, they yeah, always yeah. never be fucking not like, even madness. Yeah, yeah, not, yeah. Even, not even madness yeah. anymore. Um, so there's that. I suppose show. my yeah. fave, just because I'm a big mm. fan, probably uh, always outnumbered, never outgunned the prodigy. 
Yeah, because nice. uh, love the prodigy, so I'm always happy for a prodigy album. So. Yeah. yeah, and local, and, he, and, I, and all yeah. local, nice local leggings. Well. Yeah. Yeah. And I always yeah. remember, like when you heard it, mm. it obviously like you got Fat of the Land is such a, an album. So this was yeah, a little, this is a little yeah, bit more sure. sort of paired, not paired back, but it's a lot more sort of samples and yeah. you know. It's not quite as like pop songy, you know, yeah. in the way that they did stuff. But I really like, I really like the sort of the no, like the like the noise explosion. Any, and yeah. of Any songs off the that to mind? Um, mm. Spitfire's great, mm. and there's the ah, uh, oh, what's the song called? It's the one. It's one of the ones with. Um, the, it's the one I think Liam Gallagher's singing on it. I think it's oh. might be the. Uh, da, Oh, uh, man, really... it's the, I think it might even be like a Oasis demo that he's remixed. I'm not sure if it's yeah, that. I, so. Yeah, I know what you mean. I, I don't know. The That's going to annoy us now, isn't it? Shoot Down. Might be, yeah. Shoot Down, might I think. Be. Hang on, maybe I'm wrong. But like, oh, is that my Jim's the Oasis guy will yeah. know that. Maybe it's not yeah. that album. It is that I, album. I, I'm sure it is. Yeah, I think so, yeah. I know uh, it's not that album. No, I've got the wrong album. Yeah, but... Gun and Shoot Down are the two that he's done. I'm thinking, I'm thinking of the wrong. I think I'm talking out my ass now. Talking Chemical Brothers. No, no, I think I'm talking of the one later. Uh, uh, the next album I got confused but that one and then uh, you've got, you got, the, just you got the, <laughs> up and away on my beautiful balloon you got that cover and you got Love Buzz on there as well which is a great one which is a shocking blue who are a, a great band right, okay. that's the one that Nirvana I was going to say Bleach, Bleach yeah. Yeah. Nirvana Bleach yeah. they did that didn't they yeah yeah, yeah that was a like faster. blues, yeah, was a blues in, uh, cover originally, wasn't it? Yeah, oh, was so it really? Shocking. Yeah, yeah, shocking yeah. So if you listen to the Nirvana one, it's yeah. like faster. You know, yeah, do, yeah. Do, 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 you know, it's yeah. like... Uh, yeah, okay. But their, their one is it's like a seat, it's got sitar and oh, okay. it's like... Oh, yeah. Yeah. Sitar, okay. You know, it's okay. like... It's, yeah. Yeah, it's good. I never knew that was a cover until no. recently. Well, I saw something on it, I was like, well, Nirvana, I always thought it was a Nirvana original uh, yeah. song. Yeah, well, that's one of the good things about Nirvana. Um <clears throat> Is like they, you know bands like that they do covers, yeah. but they do like you know when they do like David Bowie's Man Who Sold the World. Mm. Really, most people that's their first introduction to that song being a David. Like most yes, people, yeah, I'm, not, yeah, yeah. I'm not saying people yeah. would have thought that was a day, but they, if you can do a David Bowie cover, you don't do Man Who Sold the World. That's no, not no, one of the ones yeah, anyone yeah, gives a course, shit about. Yeah, you yeah, know? Yeah, and the one you they did at the end, Where Did You Sleep Last Night? Mm. Yeah, that was like a blues, like that's about 1930s yeah. song, like a yeah. by blues singer. Yeah. And it's like, it's, yeah, it's like he, he knew his music. So there's something and, like yeah, really absolutely. nice about when they do a cover, it, and mm. also they're yeah. doing it, and also doing it in your sound. <laughs> so it's like you love the song, you can make yeah. it your yeah, own. It's just yeah. great. So I do that. love that cover of uh, yeah, the Man yeah, Who Sold yeah. the World. It's amazing. Yeah, I prefer it to the. I do actually. The, I think the I prefer it to the Bowie yeah, yeah. version. I love the Bowie version as well. I, but it, I think oh, I prefer yeah. the Kurt version. I think it's because I heard it first. Maybe that's that might just sticks with you, doesn't it? Yeah. But in answer to your question, always outgun. I was outnumbered, never outgunned from 2004. Shoot down by Liam Gallagher. Oh, was it? There. Yep. Good, good. You're absolutely right. So I doubted myself. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Never. Doubted you sold. Myself. You sold it with such conviction that we were going to let it go anyway. I know, but I've just had that thing where I was like, oh no, you know. But what if, what if, what if people listen to this? Yeah. They <laughs> <laughs> <I> don't. <laughs> don't. We <Well, laughs> <fear> not. <laughs> well, we can we'll, solve that problem we'll, right we'll, now. Yeah, we'll tell, you, we'll tell you about an hour and a half in. Yeah. Yeah. Not. I know what it's like. <laughs> Only <laughs> Nicky Campbell listens. But I know what it's like <laughs> to be watching call like movie documentaries yeah, of people yeah. going. Well, of course, the thing is, I'm like, that's not right. Yeah. yeah what the fuck have you got this person doing a talking around? And what they're talking about? I get like really quite angry about it. You're like, I. I, like, yeah. Fortunately, Paul Gambaccini's yeah. uh, no longer on our, our <laughs> call list, so it's all good. Uh, so nice. those are my uh, those are my brilliant those are my brilliant three albums. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> nice. I like that. Excellent. That's That's slightly the off the beaten track. We like the that. Prodigy yeah. and Morrissey. And Morrissey. You've got something for every emotion there, haven't you? In every film, <laughs> certainly, he covers all bases. Yeah. Delish, how about your um, film choices oh, then? Oh, this is quite tricky. So is that, again, that's a, leave, I would have put Crank in there, but as we've spoken to Crank, I will leave, mm. I'll do a... I'll that, do stands, a that stands alone. Right. That's, that's a 1A. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. That would be number two in the list if it was... Uh, <laughs> would it? So yeah, there's something yeah, better think than a like, Crank? Oh, my word. Well, I mean... Mm. Crank too, I mean, presumably. I mean, I had this, this discussion with someone the other day where whenever you compare any film to Crank, is it as good as Crank? You go, no matter what the film is, you can kind of just say to yourself... Yeah, but it's not crank, is it? And it suddenly doesn't seem as good as you know, Apocalypse Now. Yeah, but it's, it's, it's not no crank, crank, is it? Yeah. Like, and, you go, and it's like, that does sort of almost make you feel like crank could be up there. Right? It's a real crank casual, is such a great it? movie yeah. that, you know, have you seen Caviar Dr. Caligari? <laughs> never seen yeah, it's no crank, is it? Like, like, never heard such an outpouring. You should make that your mission in life. To make yeah, yeah. Crank, crank them voted the top, the top film I mean, I would. There's very few films where you can say, yeah, but 
but it's not no that. It's, it's, like, not... it's probably like five films you could legitimately say that about. Yeah, right? Finally, the Shawshank Redemption has been removed from top, yeah, yeah. top one. What's I, mean, it's good, but, <laughs> I mean, it's good, but it's not <laughs> great, <laughs> is it? <laughs> <laughs> like... <laughs> oh my god! Oh. He's ruined every film we're going to talk yeah. about again. It's literally it's any film we go. It. Yeah, but it's not crank, is it? And it will slightly diminish the. Uh, <laughs> it was going to start a movement. The objective mastery yeah, yeah. of the other film. <laughs> <laughs> so let's find out what did beat. Wow! Well, so I've got the problem is I don't know what the other. I know what the one number one is. So I would. <sighs> or does he? He's down mm. himself. No, I know. Do you know I think? Because okay. I've got like. Three to be in the other two spaces, so it's tricky to know what one so to is, leave is out. He your, so. Is he your honourable mention, then? Well, just the ones that didn't make. The I'll cut. tell you the. I'll, you know what? I'll, I'll be. I'll be bold. Yeah. Mm. I'll leave one out because I'm going to talk about it okay. in the uh, in the later challenge. Okay. So, oh, okay. Oh, that's perfect. Right, okay. Yeah, yeah. Leave that, that one out. Excellent. Cool. So it will be By a process of elimination. Therefore, nice. It will be. I would say for me. Uh, Battle Royale. Oh yeah, that's good. Cool. Uh, Dead Man's Shoes. Oh fucking. Hell. Oh, I like that. And that's great. Children of Men. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Although Children yeah. of Men was a lot more enjoyable when it was when it was a a, a sort of never going to happen future rather yeah, than, yeah. Oh, man, rather yeah, than, yeah. Rather than yeah. like most political party yeah, election fucking, campaign uh, dead men's yeah. oh I fucking love yeah, this yeah, I forgot about that it's no crank is that no crank is it none of them are crank are they but Children of Men is amazing it's genuinely I think it's like yeah, yeah, proper yeah, yeah, um, great uh, David that picked in the last one as well yeah, that that did, yeah. That was, well. was that their top one yeah, it's remember. definitely a top three I can't remember might be the top one Dead Man's Shoes is Paddy Constantine yeah yeah that's the great oh man yeah when I first saw that that twist Got me. Yeah, yeah. But the whole, but the whole thing. I mean, it's like it's great. It's like, mm. what's good about that as well is it's. I love the fact it's just like a small town. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's like they're all gangsters, but they're not gang. They're gangsters in the way that those people are gangsters. Okay. Yeah, they're, they're just, they're, they're just they're like idiots, they're just awful they? people yeah, 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 who yeah, yeah, yeah. can sort of get access to some drugs. Yeah, yeah, Do you know, yeah, it's yeah. like they're not like they're not. They're not big. Yeah. They're That's what I liked about it. The bit when he's got the mask on and he's kind of haunted them, yeah. and they're all like fucking stone yeah. or fucked. Yeah. He's like, and at no point, is yeah. it, and also it's so so contained. At no point do you ever go, mm. why is no one calling the police? Because it's so like, yeah. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. all the things where you go every time you go, hang on, there isn't actually a hang on because it's yeah. completely, it's completely you contained don't to and makes sense. Yeah. And, yeah, and he's so good in it. And also, I saw that, I saw that like knowing nothing about it. I was just in mm. London. Mm. Uh, and there's that cinema off Leicester Square, which now I think it's the Odeon just off, but normally just does has lots of like the sort of the Wasn't Asian it? cinema films. Wasn't because... that the Prince Charles? No, that's the one. Oh. This is the Patton, Patton oh, okay, Street yeah. one, which is the one just sort of straight through. Right, okay. You going? And I was walking past there, and I just saw a post in it with that picture of you know with the thing, and he's got the axe. He's one in red, yeah. and it just went Shane like Shane Shane Meadows. I was yeah, like, Shane oh, Meadows, yeah. like I like, I, know that I like right. him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, and it went one. like, and also because they were milking the sort of the vibe, it was like British slasher movie, like uh, Taxi Driver meets like, and it was all like, yeah. it was like it's all sort of wrong. Yeah, yeah. But you kind of go. <laughs> That sounds interesting. Yeah, so yeah. Imagine yeah. watching Dead Man's Shoes, yeah. not knowing, going, oh, what's that? And then watching it and then not knowing yeah, a not single knowing. thing it's about it. It's a revenge it. film as well. And then it? it's no. just amazing. And also, just, yeah. And also, like, all, and also, it's one of things where all those scenes everyone talks about are great. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. those scenes are actually brilliant. Like, yeah, the whole bit with yeah. the, you know, you know, you're fucking there, mate. You know, yeah. that, that, that great line, you know, I'm not threatening you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Not yeah. threatening you, mate. Yeah. You're there, aren't you? He's like pointing yeah. the palm of his hand, you're there. Yeah. He just punches out and I was just like... Some of my mates have got this idea, yeah, it was me. Yeah, yeah great, yeah, like, none of this, like, you know. When he's in the, um, <laughs> he's in, like, the clubhouse and he goes, you fucking can yeah, yeah. oh, and he, But he just, he switches, yeah. doesn't he? He goes from being calm, yeah, just, yeah. just fucking loony. Oh, he's, it's yeah, just, like, hor- it's accident. just, like, it's genuinely, like, horrific. Yeah. You just watch it, you're just like, ah. Oh. But it's also, when you watch it, it's one of those things where, like, as a punter, it's a great thing to watch. But also, yeah. when you're interested in making mm. movies and you want to, like, you do acting, it's like yeah. the whole thing is like everything about it is like, oh my god, this is like exactly, yeah. this is exactly right. This is exactly yeah, right. No, this is brilliant. Yeah, oh, I love. The, yeah. yeah, I forgot all about the Man's Shoes. Yeah, yeah. It again. yeah, it's exactly. a great film. It is mm. a great film. Have you? So have we missed the boat? In no, no, it must be about two thousand eight, two thousand nine. Have you seen the Man's Shoes? I have no, not. no. Oh, definitely list. worth a watch. Brilliant. Yeah, I added it to the ever growing list. Yeah, right? yeah. yeah. <laughs> I have not got enough time between now and my imminent death to actually watch all of them. <laughs> no, yeah, I've got the fifty years possibly. I'm, no, it's very good film. Very good film. You have to. We have to. You know, try and make a point of seeing these before you turn. 30 aren't well you? this is it <laughs> no, so. <laughs> just really sack off the 26th birthday party yeah. Just, uh, yeah 
Nice. Very yeah, good, good choices. Shout, okay. Happy with those? No yeah, word. yeah. Battle Royale. He's brilliant. Oh. I, think, I think I had that. Did I have that in my top three? I yeah. Think yeah. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Yeah, I love that film. Yeah. It was great 2001. Film. Or yeah. yeah. It's yeah. great. Early doors. Yeah. Oh, great film. Fine show. Something for everyone again and some homework for me. Yeah. yeah. I always come out of this having to do more work. I know. It's outrageous. I know. But. It's what we signed up for. Well, good shouts all round, Mr. S. Lovely Thank stuff. Thank you. Well, should we stick with the uh, the the movie theme, uh, mm-hmm. Mr. Reynolds? I believe this is uh, this is your time to shine. Yeah, the, uh, so the Joe Calzaghi the finally, challenge. Not the Joe Calzaghi, but the John Cazale. <laughs> oh, sorry, oh. sorry, how about the John this? Cazale challenge. We'll get there. We'll get yeah. there. Not the, not the Welsh yeah. sex world champion boxer. Uh, no. So I'll, I'll just explain quickly to the people. So John Cazale, an actor in the seventies who did some first five films which are absolutely amazing he was in the godfather godfather part two dog day afternoon the conversation and deer hunter i've got them. he's got them finally i normally in. forget one right. um so the challenge we set is not necessarily the first five films but we thought a run of five films of mm. any actor actress bodies of work that could match that or even beat that Whoa. and i'm 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 excited, especially well. after Crank. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I mean, I would. I, Can you I imagine a body work of Statham? I mean, <laughs> yeah. If it, it would, I mean, seriously, but there's just too many. There's I'm just too looking, many. I'm looking up enough. Statham's fire. <laughs> yeah. yeah. There's too many. Uh, there's too many sort of ghosts of Mars and uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, in yeah. the name of the King of Dungeon Siege dramas in there to really <laughs> keep the sort of the momentum going. Unfortunately, <laughs> that is the problem with a, uh, with a job in actor. Because yeah, I was thinking, because I was thinking, you know, those sort of seventies actors who are great like that. Yeah, I was thinking yeah. like people like Joe Spinell who. Who's in all these like movies? Oh, yeah, yeah. And, and it's like no, because they just do. They just work constantly. So there's well, no. Well, that's what like, I mean. It, Joe, does, it doesn't have to be a no, no, a list yeah. celeb. It could so be just Joe Spinell. The, the, uh, he was in Rocky, wasn't he? Yeah, and yeah. Maniac, and yeah, uh, that's right. Yeah, he's like yeah, he's in uh, those. He's in all those sorts yeah, of like that's what, those late. So he's that sort of proper like New York seventies. That's right. Yeah, people, but they just didn't do. In, they do. They do so much. Mm. Yeah, you know all the actors I really like. They yeah. work so much often that they haven't got that five in a row. Because mm. not that they're not that there's stinkers, but no. you know you're talking about like you know like even talking Christi- elite films, but even yeah, yeah, like yeah. Christopher Walken mm. like doesn't have like five stars no, in a row because not. they work constantly. Yeah. Yeah, Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it's, like, it's, it's, the, the more you look into the balls it, of the, fury the lurking like, around like, every corner. Yeah. I mean, the obvious choice. I think mm. I looked up De Niro. I thought, I thought De Niro's got in the seventies, yeah. especially. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got, no. And I, I think he done like New York, New York, which is a bit of a stink. I yeah. don't know. He, like, just comes in the middle of the deer hunter. Yeah, I was still, like, but oh, that ruins it. I still like the Scorsese, which we still would still count. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But it's just there's that you know there's lots of those actors you just really like, but. Because yeah. they work a lot, they're yeah. not in there. So, I mean, this is a little bit like that, where you go, I might have to just overlook one of them. Yeah. But uh, can I have a guess before we start? Richard? <laughs> oh, you can have a guess. Is it Michael Caine? It's not Michael <laughs> Caine. <laughs> oh. the jaws for? No, just, yeah, <laughs> just George. it'd be great if you could just do like, the reverse challenge. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's just, those nine films in a row that Michael Caine is just very that were just purely for tax purposes. <laughs> Maybe we'll do that next series. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. call it the yeah. John Malkovich tax yeah. tax, uh, the tax. Bruce, Bruce Willis phoning yeah, in yeah. challenge. Yeah, yeah. 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 the Nicholas Cage yeah. alimony yeah. bill yeah. challenge. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Come in and see your. Let's well, see your uh, as I was saying, or, the problem, again, difficult mm. with the problematic people. I mean, mentioned before, but like, yeah. there are those people like Kevin Spacey who would have yeah, had us, yeah, who yeah. you would choose yeah. if we wanted to discuss him. <laughs> but you know, it's hard to find. So I've chosen, and I'm just going to get my notes up to make sure I get this all correct. I have chosen the actor and comedian uh, Eric Banner. Oh. Ooh. Well, it's actually his first five because right. it counts. Because oh, okay. okay. his first one was The Castle, which is yeah. an Australian right. comedy. Sam which Elliott is genu- no, is no, no, no. This is an Australian uh, comedy. Not Sam well, Elliott. Um, what's his name? Sam Neill. Sam Neill. That's yeah. The so. Dish. Ah. That's, that's the same filmmakers, but not that one. Right, this is a okay. film about um, people who have their home, they live next to an airport and they might have their house compulsory acquired. Right, okay. So they decide to try and fight yeah. it, but they're just like a sort of like poor sort of love lovable idiot sort of family but it's genuinely heartwarming and amazing okay. cost like okay. no they think they filmed it in 12 days really? right, the okay. camera moves like eight times do you know what i mean it's <laughs> like 
It's great. Like it's genuinely, it's really, really, really funny. Yeah. But it's also really, really like heartwarming because most yeah. times feel good movies are not feel good movies. No, yeah, yeah. Sure. They're sort of just a bit saccharine and shit. But this actually yes. is like you just feel really good when you've watched it. It's, it's really funny. Mm. It's really worth a watch. A wholeheartedly, okay. it's one of the best comedies ever made. Like a wholeheartedly. Oh, okay. It has the phrase, "This is going straight to the pool room," right. uh, which is what he says. He's got a place where he keeps all his like trinkets and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. So okay. That is going straight to the pool room. So if people <laughs> say, I mean, you might hear something like that. So. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think Jeff Goldblum said it in one of the Guardians of the said one in one of the Marvel movies as a reference. Oh, right, uh, right, okay. okay. I don't know. Uh, so that's that. Now, following on from uh, the castle, which would be the film I would have maybe chosen in the top three. Chopper, Chopper, Chopper. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Chopper. without doubt. Chop, chop. Talked yeah, about Chopper, funny. Yeah, yeah, great. Yeah. Chop, chop. So they know it. So we, when you say it, Banner was he a comedian before? He was an yeah, actor, he was a stand-up was comedian. Really? Oh, I didn't know and, that. Um, Mark Chopper really wanted him to play because he liked him on the telly and thought he's funny, he should play oh, me. Really? Oh, really? He was funny, oh, okay. yeah. He did loads of, he's like stand up, he's like you can buy his sketch show on. Eric Banner was a comedian, did oh, lots okay. of like sketch shows, oh, yeah. like full stand up comedian. So he was in the castle because he's like a comedian. So it's like that kind of thing oh, yeah. where you get like the comedian who turns up in a thing. Yeah, yeah. Oh, right, you know, okay. steals the any, show and then becomes a is movie. Is he stand up any good? Or? I've not seen him do but oh. proper stand I mean, I've got, I've got, I've got his sketch show on DVD, but yeah. I haven't seen him do stand up stuff. Yeah. I don't know what he properly. Right. Talked yeah, about, yeah. about, he yeah. won like a wall. You know, he won like the sort of I think it's the golden logie or whatever. You know, right, he won okay. like the sort of like he's funny, yeah, yeah, of course. But yeah, but Chopper, like, what a movie! Oh, yeah, like, yeah, it's great. That, it's yeah. got some great lines in it. So the I whole think, thing is yeah. yeah. himself a mischief, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's a lovely thing. And yeah. I, there's something about the Aussie right, accent as yeah, well, yeah. Yeah. it's, it's got a comical thing about it. It's the whole like now, Jimmy, if you keep stabbing me, yeah, yeah. Just love that. Love, yeah, I mean, you, love, couldn't, yeah. you couldn't do that in, <laughs> yeah. with a British yeah. accent, yeah, no. could you? It's about it's the Aussie the accent. Thing. It just yeah. comes across funny. It's just a little bit early in the morning for Kung Fu. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> so like that. So laconic, thing, isn't it? Yeah. But the whole way as well, it's just... Because I, I also don't particularly mm. like um, like true crime... Like, I don't like things that glorify criminals. Yeah. Yeah, I find yeah, it like a bit distasteful. Yeah. Like, per, just my personal thing. Right, okay. So it's quite no, odd that I would really, really school. like Chopper, Chopper yeah. because yeah. there's something about yeah. it that yeah. I really like. And I also read some of the books. Like I find the character really fascinating. Yeah, I'm okay. not like well, the real life. Yeah, the real yeah, life yeah. Chopper because it's just the weird like <laughs> he's uh, a strange guy, he's psycho. <laughs> but the way he like. You know, robbed criminals. That's what he yeah. did. So he's yeah. like a, like the, the worst Hood. prisoner in the yeah. world. But not not really Robin Hood. It's just like, yeah, yeah, it's like the Punisher Robert. sort of yeah, like. Yeah, yeah. But it was True, like, yeah. why would I? You know, he said like, why would I? You know, I don't want to deal drugs. If I deal mm. drugs, I've got to, I've got to like deal with people who sell. Got to deal with people who sell drugs. I've got mm. to buy the drugs. I've got to keep the drugs. I've got to mm. risk getting arrested for drugs. I've got to deal with junkies when I sell mm. the drugs. Yeah. Why don't I just wait till someone sold drugs and then go and rob, rob them? them. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> like it's a very what, they, what they're going to do they're working, not going to call yeah. the police are yeah. they do yeah. you know what I mean? like, yeah. so it's just like I just would go and like yeah. you know I'll just There's rob a lot of criminals like yeah. you know yeah. Yeah. but yeah just cut his ears off just to like go into psychiatric and you know like yeah. just yeah. madness well, like, I haven't seen a film in a year I'll have to watch that again I remember there were some very good lines in it. It yeah. was very comical. Yeah, yeah. For, for the subject, it was. Yeah, it was a very yeah. comical film, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah. It's a great line. Just, I think, literally, I think the first, one of the first things he says is, Beethoven had his critics. Yeah. See, if you, <laughs> see if you can name three of them. Yeah. <laughs> just like... <laughs> but the whole thing is just like, great. It's also like yeah. proper act. You know what I mean? Proper yeah. line. Mm-hmm. Not really even an actor. I mean, obviously, he's an actor, but you know, he's not an actor in the way that you would go. That's a role you build up to. That's not a role you yes. give someone who's a comedian who's just yeah. had like basically a cameo in yeah. in a teen comedy. Do you know what I mean? You but, wouldn't yeah. imagine. Yeah, because yeah. I always think I always think Bronson is the British version yeah, yeah. of Chopper, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. and obviously it's Tom Hardy, Tom and it's sim- yeah. it's a very similar yeah. role. And he tries not, to be comical, but it's not like. But imagine if that was Tom Hardy's second ever yeah, film, exactly. yeah. Yeah. I mean, and the yeah. first thing he did was basically turn up as like a bouncer in Kevin and Perry Go Large. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's literally yeah. the kind of yeah, it's sort of it's, yeah. Like, it doesn't quite work. So, you know, you build up, you know, you build up to you go like we need a leading man for this. Do you yeah. know what I mean? You don't. No, go, but even even though Bronson, I like Bronson. Yeah, yeah. I prefer Chopper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's about this yeah. war, even though it's about it's, psych- yeah, as you say it's, it's kind of war yeah. 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 but also it's like it's genuinely funny like it's yeah. a bit where he like I think he like you know hits his wife and he like but it's like the next day but in like yeah. 30 seconds mm. you're laughing and it's like but not because it's just so well done that like mm. yeah. I'm not saying because that's fine but it's just it's really clever the way yeah. it like yeah. makes you hate him and then you're back, back on, on you're back on, sort of just yeah. following the story and like yeah, yeah. enjoying it hate, like it's really weird yeah. like it's really cleverly 
done and done. acted and written. Yeah. And it's the Andrew Dominic, isn't it, who did um, just done the Marilyn Monroe movie for Netflix that everyone yes. has. Oh, Blonde. Uh, okay. Blonde Andrew Dominic? No, that's the guy who did... Um, I think it's Andrew Dominic Games Master. That's Dominic, That's Dominic, 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 Dominic Diamond. I keep doubting myself. I'm just like, this is another one. Well, that would be great, though, if that or was... Uh, that would be lovely. Diamond just directed. a random Scottish yeah. guy. Just, just taking, giving you, you know, giving you cheats old, for the PS2 and then also... <laughs> old, uh, old footage of Patrick Moore being part of the The golden joystick! Yeah. That's, what they call oh, in, that's what they call it in prison when you... Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 Piss on your dick just to get some lube. The golden joke. Oh, go slightly off. Go slightly off track. I always thought there's a weird gig for Patrick Moore. Yeah. <laughs> Sky at night. Gig, so, gigging suddenly, actor. Like, yeah. Gigging actor, Dale. Yeah, yeah. That's true. Who that's knows? what. That's what Who ruins knows? his Joe Kazali uh, or Joe Kazagi challenge, isn't it? Yeah. That's true. Yeah. The Games Master gig. Well, yeah. The rest of his, the rest yeah. of his films were great. Yeah. Patrick Moore. Would have put him in there. Would have put him in there. Yeah. So we got Castle yeah. Chopper. So Man. then is the slight curveball. Because it's good, but it's like not. It's not a classic. And oh no, no, no next one's fine. It's this fourth one. Oh, okay. The next one, Black Hawk Down. Black Hawk oh, Down. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Which is like all right, but it's, you know, you can't deny it's not a. Yeah. You know, it's, it's a. It's, good it's a film of. Notes. It's yeah. a really yeah. good. What I like about it is one of those films where it's quite like you know worthy, and we're gonna you know it's mm. America, America, yeah, yeah. fuck yeah, <laughs> movie, yeah. isn't it? <laughs> and it's like, and everyone's like taking it quite seriously mm. and doing it. And then Eric Banner's in it. Eric Banner seems to be the only person, well, I believe the phrase now is understood the assignment. Uh, <laughs> he's like the only person who seems to be aware of what he's actually he's in. Yeah. Yeah, and yeah, so yeah. he's like, not like... Well, he's got a lot of big actors he's in He's not stealing that, really, the film from everyone, but he's basically mm. realises that this is not a... This is, like, everyone else is like, I'm in the Ridley Scott movie, we're in oh, Hollywood, right, you know. Yeah, 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 there's yeah, a kind yeah. of like, you know, lots of that sort of like British actors, lots of people yeah, who are now yeah. A-list as all. Yeah, it's like one yeah. of those like ensemble down, films yeah. where, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, it's like Hugh McGregor's in it, Orlando Bloom's like in it. Like a band of brothers kind of yeah. thing, yeah. Some yeah, random so. guy from, it used to be in Coronation Street was in there. I always remember. Yeah, I can't remember. Michael, Michael, yeah, Kenny, did you? Did you? Did you? Did you? Shaved her head for the role. Yeah, yeah. Didn't have the Aussie bloke from Home and Away in it? It was... They were all home. Oh, was he yeah, there was. Um, I can't remember his name. But he used to show up in a few Hollywood films. I think he might be Black Hawk Down. Was it Shane in Home and Away? I can't remember. I can't remember the name. But, but, yeah. Shane, oh, but it's quite good. But then he's like in it, and he's just like sort of act. He kind of go, he's oh, like okay. the only person who seems to know this is sort of bollocks. But it's always yeah. like I'm in the really, you know he's the one who's like I'm in the really sky. Yeah. ridiculous. Like who's like having a whale of a time, and everyone else is kind of like this is my chance to prove everyone I can do proper acting in a right, you know yeah, it's a little yeah. certain, it's a certain light. Right. Okay. Yeah. Good you good. know. Yes. You know. But it's it's good. Mm. So they're, they're oh god, all yeah, they're all in a showcase they? sort of thing. Yeah, they're all in. It's, it's like all all the Ewans. Oh my god! Yeah, because <laughs> yeah, it was it was a bit like a band of brothers, wasn't it? Oh, it's uh, you, Gregor, Brenner, you Brenner, and Gregor. Yeah, uh, Ian Grufford, Grufford. Yeah, they're all there, aren't they? Yeah, Jeez, yeah. I feel Jason like Jason Isaac. I feel like Colin there. Farrell should be in it, but isn't. Tom right. Hardy, yeah, yeah. Yes. Hey? Tom Hardy, Tom Hardy, yeah. Because yeah, they were all in, they were all in Band of Brothers. They were all in kind of like Saving Private yeah. Ryan. All in the more movies in the yeah, early two thousands. All that sort of like they? Tigerland. Yeah, and all yeah. That kind of all like, like, but like yeah, cameos, weren't they? You, you didn't know who they were then, but it was just yeah. like they all went on to be like massive film stars. Yeah. Jeremy Piven, Jeremy Piven, N- yeah. Nikolai Costner, Duda from Game of Thrones. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Jeremy Piven. They're all in there, they? Jeremy Piven is the. Is the way, isn't he? He's he's the one of the airline pilots, isn't he? Right. Him and it's him and Ron Eldard are the two airline pilots. Ron Eldard, yeah, okay. mm. go down. Part of the Super sixty four, yeah, yeah, because he was always in bit parts. To I like, saw him like in Entourage. Yeah, he yeah. was. Yeah, he was. That's, that's what made what, him in yeah, Entourage. Yeah. Right? It was the big thing. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so we got you free. So I'm guessing three. number four is Hulk. Mm. No, 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 no. Number four is the slight wild card. It's a film called The Nugget, which mm. I doubt you'd have seen. It's an Australian no, film know. that he made because it's yeah, his right. mate made. It's basically. Right. Like a sort of quite nice feel good movie about okay. some de- like sort of blue collar guys who mm. find a massive gold nugget and oh, they don't okay. know what they're supposed to do with this yeah. massive gold nugget because technically they can't do anything. With- I don't know if they're supposed to have it. It's like, yeah, but so te- it's like te- an indie film, yeah. yeah it's yeah, like a sort of one of those like homegrown little, you know, like, like you know, like, like Green Fingers, the yeah, sort yeah, of like yeah, yeah. They, right. Channel yeah. 4 will just yeah. make a movie where it's like it's got Clive Owen, it's got Helen Mirren in it, but probably go to the cinema for a bit, but yeah, yeah. not necessarily everyone's going to see it. But it's when it's on the telly you're watching it's lovely yeah, it's yeah okay. so that's one of those it's good it's right. worth a watch but it's like it's not like you know Chopper good or The yeah, Castle no, good no, so that's yeah. the sort of slight red herring uh, and then speaking of red herrings but I'd recommend watching it if you get a chance to see okay. uh, The Nugget then speaking of red herrings mm. next Finding Nemo 
Oh, who's in Because he's uh, one of the, I think he's one is of the he? sharks, sharks in uh, yeah. Finding Nemo. Oh, is he really? Yeah. Holy yeah, moly. Be. That's so, this year as well. That's this year. That's 2003. Yeah, 2003. Yeah, 2003. yeah, I can't argue with Finding Nemo. That's but so I would weird. say, if you don't want to count Finding Nemo because he's a voice actor, mm. then the next three mm. is Hulk, Hulk, Troy and Munich. Yeah. Which is a oh, pretty yeah, good, yeah, yeah. pretty good opening run of movies, mm. I would say. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. And that's not even. I think that's like 2006. Do you know what I mean? Like yeah, that's yeah. Like, that's a pretty good. Uh, yeah. He was kind of thrown in it, wasn't he? Yeah. yeah. That's pretty good. Like make hey, you are the sun shining kind it's of funny. like yeah, get in so. and What's do he, that. Is he kind of dropped off a bit? Now, well, he just or? does. He's like a family man. And oh, okay. So he just does like one film a year. Oh, well, okay. So and then like, but he's still sort of. Yeah, he still yeah, like does. Yeah. He does like my movie. He does stuff. He's doing like. There's a thing he does like. There's a couple of things he does like. There's a TV drama about like a like a true crime podcast. Right, and he plays okay. the guy in that, and yeah, there's a couple of. I mean, I've watched films. He did like the the dry, which was quite a good drama yeah. based on a book. Uh, but he goes to he's like a policeman investigating a goes home for a funeral. Right, it's okay. all like so it's all like good. He does lots of stuff. I sort of follow him. I like him. I like I'm a big fan. Yeah. But he basically is like I just do one movie a year. So yeah. And then spend to like nine his... months with my family yeah. and like just living. Plus yeah, yeah, yeah. he loves driving cars and like, like he's a massive yes. like yeah, fan of like making yeah. like yeah. Yeah. racing. So he's stuff, not your so. typical Hollywood. So he's not really. Yeah. Yeah. He sounds like your typical Aussie guy. Right? Yeah. yeah. Down to earth Aussie. Just like when he goes or when he like makes a movie, takes his whole family with him. I think like and they just so it's like not even away from his family for three months. I think they all just go. They all have a nice sort of. And his whole thing is like. I just I'm in LA for as little a time as possible just to get like the job done and I get yeah, home. Yeah, <laughs> you know? fair play to so, it. Like, yeah, that's good, that's quite nice it? if you can be in that position just one movie a year that pays right. for your whole year. That's that's like and then just yeah. but actually have a life that you like living rather yeah, than do then, one movie a year and yeah. then spend nine months going, I wonder what Ooh. I should do now. <laughs> yeah. yeah. yeah what I would do. I go, this is great, I've got to do anything for nine months. Ah. Oh. Ah, oh, three weeks in. Oh boy. I like that. I like that. Completely spent. Yeah, I think I'm yeah, if I had the choice, for it, I'd rather that that scenario mm. than ten films a year or yeah, just yeah, whatever. Yeah. But not really Lurch being dedicated to it or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely, and sure not, not seeing your family. Anyway, and that, yeah, probably, yeah, they yeah, are yeah. pretty much. Yeah. I was going to say after those three big blockbusters at the mm. end of that run, it's yeah, yeah. he's doing all right, isn't he? Mm, that's not good. Bad. Eric not, Banner. Eric I like Banner. That is not a name we thought we'd. No, I like it. Try to keep it interesting. Yeah, very interesting. Very. have got some interesting. If you're not laughing, you're learning. Yeah, that's what I like to see. Yeah, no, it's right. Yeah. Sounds like Mr. Madison all over again, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Wow. He was crying though when he said oh, that. Oh, that's right. <laughs> no, normally wow. a pupil would have him in a headlock or something. Like, yeah. Russian haircut. Yeah, Russian haircut. Six films for the price of five we got there. Yeah, mm. yeah, I like it. Oh, yeah, I'm going to check out, was it The Nugget? And what's the first one? Richard? Castle. Castle, Castle, yeah. 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 Castle's yeah. 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 Castle great. Yeah. Chopper's on Amazon Prime at the moment if you want to. Yeah, I like Chopper. Really I love Chopper. Yeah, I've got it on film. DVD mm. somewhere. Yeah. 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 Definitely got it yeah, lurking yeah. in the back of a cupboard. The somewhere. audio commentary's got there's in the one version I bought when it yeah. first came out. It's got the, the actual chopper, chopper. Does audio commentary on the yeah. movie, yeah. which really, is quite yeah, good. God. There's a bit where he cuts his ears off, and a bit, and he goes, and he just sits and goes. Yeah, when I now, did that, this is yeah, this is where Quinn and Tarantino didn't get it quite right because uh, <laughs> when you cut someone's ear off, it yeah, does not stop bleeding. <laughs> it's nine pints via transfusions. <laughs> Oh, Perhaps they should have got me in as an expert on the movie. They just laughed. He goes, "Well, let's be honest. We'd cut my ears off if we never even heard of Quentin Tarantino." <laughs> <laughs> it's just nonsense. Just great. Oh, yeah. That's great, isn't it? Yeah. That's good. I like that. That's great. Eric Banner to the list. We're gonna add that. Yes. Cracking. Thank you. Brilliant. Perfect. Awesome. Great shout. Thank you very mm. much again, Mister S. Good work. Okay, well, it has been an absolute enthralling couple of hours spent with yourself, Mr. Sandling. We'd just like to say thank you ever so much for giving us your time. Um, all of the stories, all of the uh, the film recommendations, the music. Yeah. It's been mm-hmm. an absolute joy. Um, gentlemen, what should we, uh, should we should we give him a, a, a round of applause? A traditional yeah. round of applause. <laughs> it's Mr. Richard Sandling, everybody. <laughs> Definitely in the top four guests we've ever had on the podcast. <laughs> yes. More. What, more. more. What's, oh, what's, yeah. that? what's that? Author. <laughs> Author. <laughs> oh, yeah. So um, is there anything, before we uh, release you into oh. the, the wilds of Ben Fleet's evening, mm. would you like to plug anything further for us? Would you like to give us a, a quick 
where people can find out more about you. Give us um, a couple of well, uh, helpfuls. Yes. Uh, thank you. Please watch my film Phase, uh, which you can find on Vimeo. Yeah, uh, or just basically out. Richard Sandling. I am the only Richard Sandling uh, ever. So I, I, that's I ever am lived. Uh, I've been through all the multiverses and killed all the other ones. There is only me left. Uh, but if you Google Richard Sandling, mm. uh, you will find me. So please find me. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Unless you're Liam Neeson. Yeah, Liam Neeson. Yeah. 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 Apparently, he has a set of skills. Uh, that you want to find I, out I do have a set of skills. None of them useful. Yeah. <laughs> none of them. None of them are monet- None of them can be monetized. Uh, yeah, but obviously, I do. I do lots of various different things. Uh, so best to sort of find me and then see. But uh, comedy, acting, film. Uh, you know the whole shebang. The whole shebang. Yeah. Have but you yes, got a website as well? I got you? richardsandling.com There you go. I mean, he, yeah. he must be the only one. Yeah, yeah. 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 to have exactly. said said website. Well, go and well, check him yeah, out, yeah. guys. Well, let, and his Liam Neeson's just going to go on. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's yeah. not it's gonna find, It's going to be yeah. the easiest find he's ever done. I've got a set of skills that make. Oh, I've just googled him. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Yeah, you've got Excel. I've got PowerPoint on my sleeves. The lot. Just something really weird about Liam Neeson. There's like loads of if you, if, if you don't know why I was, I was listening to a podcast. There's a weird thing about Liam Neeson. Just loads of pictures of him. He apparently just pisses himself all the time. It's so it's so bizarre. It's so bizarre. It's so there you what go. old age or? And he just gets hammered. Where he's hammered, but there's a big thing about it. It was, it was talked. To, it was either on a Joe Rogan podcast or something like that. It's like, apparently it's a thing. So there you go. Well, if um, you're ever Googling, sorry, to yeah. if you're ever Googling you Richard Google Sandling, Google me, yeah, the, yeah, yeah, the, yeah, yeah. Yeah. pissing himself. Once you finish, yeah. I, think, I don't think you're going to win that one. Yeah. No, it wasn't. <laughs> I don't remember that, but I'm a rama <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'll be honest with you. I'm googling Liam Neeson pissing yeah. himself when I get home. <laughs> but once you've done that, then you'll be googling yeah, 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 richardsandling.com. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah, for all your uh, comedy <laughs> and uh, perhaps we take some photos of me pissing myself, myself. Yeah. 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 and then Just if people Google together. Liam Neeson pissing I'll, I'll be we'll the link to it yeah you can have a yeah. link to it you'll, yeah. you'll be yeah. the first first, uh, first website receipt yeah yeah brought back yeah yeah well um, on that horrific message <laughs> yeah. of, Richard, of Richard's Liam Neeson fantasy coming true uh, we say thank you once again Richard Sandley <laughs> They say that all good things must come to an end, and the same is true with podcasts. So that is your lot. Stop being greedy. Go and talk to your husband or wife, your kids, a friend, your cellmate, maybe a counsellor, whoever. It's only a few days until we release the next episode, so go and do something productive. Go on, bugger off. Love you. See you.